So this is one for the giveaway. And I think that one has its name on the back. I'm pretty sure it's like Garden Abstract something. Garden Abstract. Yeah. Garden Abstract one, potentially. Yeah. One of 12, it says. Yeah, it's that's right. So I own all 12 while well, I'm about not to own, only own 10. Nice. So uh, I <laughs> just think these are beautiful. Uh, so this is done in oh, 1975. Cool. This is as she learns, as she dives into being a, a mid-century modernist uh, abstract yeah. artist. I see many things in that. That's very characteristic of her big pieces of work. So I'm trying to share those with you. So that's only probably a 10 by 11, 9 by 11, mm -hmm. uh, but it's pretty potent. Ashton fingies for scale. Yeah, that but it's only it's a little a bit. Gorgeous uh, piece of work. So I'd like that to be given away. And then there's a second one. Cool. And this, the second one that they're gonna show, just be careful, it's maybe taped into the frame currently. Uh, <clears throat> this one is interesting because I've been working with an art conservator. Ooh. And over the phone, we have all these paintings by numbers. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to her, I was like, you know, which ones should we give to the boss? And over the phone, we both agreed this one without even seeing it. We were like, oh, that was number blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that equally says Garden Abstract. It's in the series. It's like Garden Abstract 3 or 4. But all that information will come with it. Uh, for That's shipping, cool. I'm gonna, they're all in glass. So I'm going to switch them all to plexiglass so mm. they travel well. Uh, they're gorgeous. They're unique. She's a female artist that did abstract, which is something that nobody has a collection of that yeah. um there's going to be a art show here or in vancouver called uh, c jane like dick and jane c jane that's going to exhibit lost female artists artwork that's going to happen at the beginning of the year. That's awesome. And then uh, the Penticton Gallery is going to do a solo show of hers at some point. I don't think they've got everything framed up properly yet to do that. And, uh, yeah, I, who knew I could sell art, man? <laughs> I sold art to designers from Whistler. I sold art to doctors. I sold collections. I eventually Damn. asked for help because I realized that my weak spot was cute little old ladies that oh. I would give them away instead of taking any money. Uh -huh. Like I would load their car and say, oh, it's so great. I'm so glad you came to me. I'm so happy. I just wanted to go to a good I home. I just wanted to go to a good home. And indeed, Carrie, that's a really good point yeah. because my goal in all of this was to re-home the art. Yeah. And so uh, mine... My goal was really simple, you know, it, and it still remains that way. It's not about money. It's about letting Virginia be known. So now this is happening. Is there a mark on the bottom yeah. of there? VL. VL. That's Virginia Lewis. So the good point, Ashton. So VL, Virginia, might, might have been a bit of a gin drinker, maybe. Uh-huh. And we hung the show at my house, and we came to realize that her signature changed over time, which is very normal in artist world, mm -hmm. except for some of those are spelled incorrectly. <laughs> so oh, I have several pieces where she spelled her own name wrong, oh. which we believe might be gin-related. Like Listen. it says V. Lewis, but there's no W in it. And so uh, those are quirky and fun. So they are all archival. The ones that are leaving from here are archivally stamped. They're cataloged, and that catalog is in the University of Victoria. So um, these are a permanent for somebody at some point to do a thesis in the art world and whatever. And I don't know. You got any That's questions? Amazing. That's all I got, man. Awesome. Other than some numbers. I mean, well, speaking of numbers, we need to come up with a number for the giveaway. So is there a number that you think would work well for this? Okay, so let me do this in my head. Like, uh, I'm going to do like the magic thing. Okay, there were 237 large paintings when I started. There was 85 mm -hmm. sketchbooks. Wow. She was born in 1908. She was mm. 4 foot 11. Hmm. Hmm. Can we do 9-11? 
Sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that where that came from, but yeah. is that a wrong number because of the no. the, yeah. the no, other fine. affiliation? No, 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 we're good. Are we good with that? Yeah. 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 And my only request is, if you guys like this stuff, put a picture on the internet. Because the one place yeah. we haven't got a lot of information about her yet is the internet, and that is what I—that's my next year's goal—is to yeah. try to get as much internet presence for her as possible. Because that's today's world; her right. world was not. And so the to, the final piece is I got some. There's a place in town called the the Union Club, which is uh, the men's club from long ago. So I had, they have a charity sale every summer so I hung a bunch of pieces there and they sold them and I went to pick the check up but like the elevator's broken and the guy's not there and whatever so I'm pretty sure there's a thousand dollar donation oh, coming awesome. from oh, Virginia's wow. paintings maybe awesome. tomorrow Heck yeah. That's As awesome. all things bust, it's not really on time. <laughs> uh, but it's all, it is there. And the, I did talk to the financial guy, so I'm pretty sure it is a $1,000 donation to add to the total. Awesome. Okay. And then let's see what these raise. All right. So the way this is working is the there are two pieces. Mm -hmm. So $9.11. We're going to run this until 11.45. So you've got an hour and five minutes, plenty of time to get your donations in. $9.11 or multiples thereof will get you an entry. We have the two pieces. We are going to draw two winners. Mm -hmm. All right. So these are going to go to two separate homes, but in kind of a really fun way, you two winners will always be connected. Yeah. Right? Which Absolutely. is like, you'll be two of which 12. Is, which is what art is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about connecting people. And uh, that's a really neat story. So $9.11, uh, multiples thereof. You uh, until 1145 um, so let's start pushing that total up this is a like really unique and special thing and you know not really anything we've ever had before on desert bus as far as I know I don't think we've ever had fine I don't think we've ever had fine art before um, so yeah get those donations rolling in uh, and you could uh, you could give these paintings a new home which is again what Kate said is what she's trying to do which is fantastic so uh, Get those donations rolling in, and uh, let's drive that up. All right. Thank you. In advance. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Yeah. For so doing much. This. Yeah. Uh, even for listening. <laughs> we've never had. Story. Yeah. Yeah. Like we've never had a lost and rediscovered artist's yeah. fine art. That is wild. It. It's just really I, cool. Uh, you know, it took me a while before I realized how deep that hole was. Yeah. And how, so what happened for me that was really kind of mind-blowing was these art historians were coming to the house and breaking into tears over pieces. And I was like, oh, okay, that's like, a good oh, one, is, eh? Is that, yeah. That's a really good one? Yeah. Why is that one better than that one? Yeah, right. So I got art history lesson of an epic proportion. Uh, yeah. The guy who took them to Penticton showed up. He's a lovely man, owns a whole gallery. He's known in Canada as having one of the best eyes for uh, art. Mm -hmm. uh, balling, big man, balling mm. in my house as we're loading his van. Because I'm donating these pieces. I'm like, I just want them to be rehomed. Oh, so those space pieces, I have the space piece. But a bunch of the other space pieces are at the observatory in Penticton. Cool, man. Cool. So, I love these stories of uh, like lost, lost things being rediscovered, like things that you you thought were just gone forever and we'd never see them. Like, uh, yeah, paintings from Virginia Lewis, who apparently nobody has any record of any of her stuff, and that's because it was all in her house. Apparently. Yeah, in her daughter's yeah. basement. In like her daughter's and basement. Very easily the kind of thing that. Could have been cleared out and all dropped off at a like, goodwill shop, goodwill and, shop or something. Yeah, uh, but no, it's been rediscovered and uh, rehomed to people who appreciate it for what it is. Matt, hello, we have, we got, a, we got a two two content or two things here. We got to wrap up real quick. Yeah. yeah. Number one is this uh, Virginia Lewis paintings. These yes. two paintings. 
Um, we have drawn, we have, we have run this donation drive. We have drawn two winners. Yes. And you are ready to roll the, the wheel? Yes, I am, Muffin. All right, let's roll that wheel. Let's do it. We have Gold Dragon and... What is that? Natomic. Natomic. Congratulations. congratulations. Art is yours. Gold Dragon and Natomic, congratulations. And uh, please make sure to head over to desertbus.org and confirm. Fill out your uh, shipping information. Make sure your donor account is up to date and ready to go so we can get these shipped out to you as soon as possible. Kate, would you like to know how much I raised? Well, I want to know if there's two winners. There yeah, is two, yeah. Golden Dragon and oh, the Oh, Golden Dragon. Yeah. Sorry, slow, slow. We drew the, we drew sleep the deprived. Together. Sleep yeah, deprived. Yeah. Um, yes, I absolutely do. $12,562.69. Ni- 69 cents. 69 cents. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. $12,000. All right. Dang.